This is Talk of Asian Marketing with a special emphasis on localized Chinese consumer behavior. Our website is ccc.qbook.tv, where you can find other audio and video episodes with photos, links, and information related to today's conversation. Subscribe to leave comments and access research episodes with applied topics and research reports. Talk of Asian marketing, and today we're looking at another video from Singapore. And James Stamworth from Tsinghua University in Central Taiwan. Great, and uh, it's great to be here. And today we're looking at this whole topic of uh, the wet market. The wet market, and of course, that dovetails in some of our other material that we've got coming up on wet markets、yep. and night markets, which is such a big kind of cultural thing here. And what we're looking at is.、Um, The whole area of the market where people often go to get produce. I mean, yeah, I think some people call the wet market like the farmers market, something like this produce market. But anyway, the point is,、yeah. you can touch it, you can feel it. It's not packaged. I mean, that, fresh. Yeah, I and mean, you can't say it any more concisely than that. Fresh. And how do we know it's fresh? Well, in the video that we're going to take a look at today, <laughs> what do we see? We see these consumers really homing in on the produce, and we've got. Two areas that are really great for focus. One is the fish, the fish, and what we see there is the consumers coming in, looking at these all these fishes, and how do they decide whether it's a good fish or a bad fish? They like poke it, they touch it, they sort of smell it, they really look at it. They open the gills. That's right. Yes, I've forgotten that bit actually, which is really lots of detail. I mean, that's something that's really. One thing that I really、uh, like about that is that we see, you know, just how much detail they get into. Yeah, totally. And in the video, we see this lady buying beans. Beans. Do you remember the bit yeah, with the, the beans? beans? And this lady, you know, she's taking them one, one by one,、yeah. examining them. Does she like it? No. I'll have that one. It's really, really、right. detailed. And there's another bit that I really liked. You probably remember it too. Was the basil? Oh yeah. <laughs> Where? When they're making the video, they ask Auntie,、yeah. "Where should I get basil?" And she, you know, she kind of says, "Don't buy this basil,、right. but go out and you'll find a store outside that sells basil." And this is how detailed the consumers are、yeah. here. You know, right down to bean by bean,、yeah. the type of basil, where to buy it, and this I think is really. The consumers、nice. are demanding. The store owners are knowledgeable.、Yeah. Everybody's completely into it, and I think that. Most important thing that I've learned from this kind of research and this this video just reinforces it is that there's always this assumption that just because young people don't go here, that this doesn't have a future. When actually, when I go there, what I see are cooks. Yes. Age has nothing to do with it. I, that's、cooks. a great, great. It's cooks, 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 and people who really cook. That's it. They would never go to the supermarket and buy these things. Absolutely. In fact, I was just talking to a student earlier today. And、um, I said, "So, do you go to the white market?" She said, "Yeah, but I, I don't like to touch. <laughs> yeah, I really don't like to touch." And this was something interesting we noticed in Carrefour、yeah. that the Carrefour service staff are very good because they say, "You know, when you finish touching, you might want to go and wash your hand over here,、right, and they right, point right, to a, right. a sink where you can go and wash up."、And、of course, this student's what about twenty, twenty-five,、mm -hmm. and she said, "You know, I, I don't like to touch." So immediately I said, "Who do you go shopping with?"、Mm -hmm. said, well, usually it's my mum. So、right. I said, "Does she touch?" Of course, she of course. touches. Yeah. Of course, of course. And then I said, "Well, where did you live before?" She said, "You know, up in Taipei." And then when we're shopping, then you know, I used to touch and check and see. And we see all of this so nicely in this video. This yeah, but once you、uh, the age thing is not deterministic. No. Right. I think that's. It's not that、point. the young people will then take over the market and not change. Rather, their behavior will change, and those markets are there to serve that. And these markets are so busy, James. I mean, this one here. I've been in here. These students have gone to this wet market, which I've visited a number of times. Saturday, Sunday, packed. Yeah, I mean, we we see that energy. It's really exciting. So, let's let's get right into that video. Yes, ten minute、really、video. We'll take a look, and then we'll be right back.
Sensory marketing is marketing strategies that focus on the impact of sensations on our product experience. This is an important aspect for marketers as companies may rely heavily on it to attract consumers and generate attention in order to stand out from competitors. As you can see from this scene, these customers seize the vegetables and proceed to select from the pile of lady fingers. During the process, the lady continuously searches the vegetables from bottom up while checking the quality of it, even though all may seem the same to us. From this clip, we can observe that there may be certain criteria for choosing vegetables, which will be elaborated in the later part of the video when the team interviewed the store owner. However, we can deduce that the store owner displays the vegetables out in categories so as to enhance the visionary aspect of sensory marketing. Other than the vision area, the consumers also choose vegetables by touching them. They will normally pick up the vegetables and check to ensure that the vegetables are fresh. At the fish stall, the selection process is of importance to consumers. They will communicate with the fishmongers to ask for advice or opinions. Despite that, they will also touch the fishes, open the gills to ensure the redness in it, and checking the fish's pupils. This was eventually linked to their cultural roots. However, the sensory marketing is one of the important aspects to attract consumers. This is because the haptic sensors appear to moderate the relationship between product experience and judgment confidence. Hence, the touch reaffirms the customer's judgment of quality. Cultural root is the link to our values which will determine our beliefs and shape our attitudes. 
As mentioned earlier, the consumers have a few points to look out for. Therefore, they choose to behave in a certain way. For instance, at the vegetable store, consumers will choose from the bottom, while consumers at the fish store will touch the fishes to determine the quality. From the close-up shot, when the customer is choosing the fishes, she will touch the fish to determine the stiffness of the fish. The stiffer it is, the fresher the fish. Other than that, she will also check the pupils and the gills for the redness. Based on grounded theory, this behaviour is taught by our parents since young when we accompanied them to the wet market. All right, James, pretty exciting, huh? Wet market visit. I really enjoyed that one. Yeah, so this what do you is, think of it, Clive? I loved it, I loved it. I think that right here we really get the touch thing. They emphasize the touch. They emphasize the time consumers take to choose it. And there's nothing unusual in this video. Completely, completely normal. And even in a place like Singapore, where you have more than enough supermarkets, there's not a shortage of Western formats. Well, it's, it's, it's a classic Western situation, isn't exactly, it? Exactly, exactly. It's very Westernized compared to other parts of Asia. Singapore is you know, completely Westernized this way. And yet these wet markets are packed. They're very organized, a little bit more organized in Taiwan. We'll see some footage from Taiwan wet markets, a little bit more disorganized, but the exact same thing. I was just in there last week, this wet market. I wanted to buy something. It was wrapped up in a bamboo leaf. I have no idea what it's called. I had no idea what it was. Mm. And the guy standing next to me, he started telling me how to cook it. The stall owner came over, told me, oh, you got to fry this, you got to cook this. Don't keep it in the refrigerator more than two days. It's going to get moldy. He told me all this. I took it home, I cooked it. It tasted terrible. It was really bad. <laughs> it was really, really bad. <laughs> now the bummer is you've forgotten the name of it now. Yeah. I've got to avoid this in the future. It was some kind of, it was actually some kind of moldy thing grown inside of a leaf. Really bad. Not to my taste at all. But it was really cool the way they got me involved in it. You know what yes, I'm saying? That involvement is really high. Yeah. And the way that, the, as you say, what, what again, we've, we've kind of touched on that before, the way the service people, essentially, as storeholders, right. you know, they're so knowledgeable and they dive right in. Right, and that's the right. thing people want to know, basically. If they see you looking at it, they'll come right over and tell you how to handle it. What to do with it, how to prepare it, how to cook it, they sort of gauge your level of knowledge. Yep. And then, you know, you get a product. Well, in this case, it didn't work out too good. Not but, for uh, me. <laughs> but I did try it. I mean, they did make a sale with me. That's the point, right? Um, and you go into other uh, Western supermarkets where they're hiring minimum wage people. Nobody has any idea what's going on, that's you it. know. And so this is the real contrast, I think. Yeah. And that's the thing people value. That's the value. And that's okay. the way you do business. That's at least in a wet market. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next week we're going to have another show and yeah. next week's show is about fish fish but you will never guess how it's about fish that's the one okay We're come back next them. week this is talk of asian marketing with a special emphasis on localized chinese consumer behavior our website is ccc.qbook.tv where you can find other audio and video episodes with photos, links, and information related to today's conversation. Subscribe to leave comments and access research episodes with applied topics and research reports.